So this next bit is going to require some complicated layout. So I've gone ahead and prepared an image, progresslayout.png, and I'm just going to open this with paint for now. And basically what we're going to do is for each file upload, there is going to be a separate div in the upload status pane of the progress dialog. And the whole upload status div will be scrollable. And so there's going to be basically two parts for a file uploader. There's going to be the file upload handler, and that's the part that is actually going to use AJAX to push the file to the um, backend server. And then there's going to be a file upload UI, which is going to display the status and information about the file upload. So for each file upload, the file upload UI is going to include an upload div div box on the outside. And then it's going to be split into two columns. There's going to be an image, which shows a thumbnail preview. And then there's going to be upload content, which shows information about the, the title, the MIME type, the date, size for the file. Then there's going to be a progress bar, a jQuery UI progress bar that's going to have a label that's going to show the upload status. And then there's going to be an upload button and a cancel button, which are jQuery UI buttons. And finally, a break to clear the end of the column. So break here to clear the end of this column, break here to clear the end of that column. And then for each file, there's going to be one of those. So first, we're going to do the um, upload UI. So let's go ahead and make this a little smaller. And this is going to require some juggling, but we'll we'll try to we'll try to do the best we can. So first let's go ahead and create a file upload UI class. And we're going to have one file upload UI object for each file upload. So we'll save that as file upload UI.js. And this is going to need the progress dialog so that it can add itself to the progress dialog when it's ready. The progress dialog will have an add status method. Um, and let's just go ahead and start building up some of this HTML that we're going to need. So our top level upload div is going to be equal to, so this is going to be a div class equal upload div. And then inside of that, we're going to have the image div. And then inside of that, we're going to have the image. And then we'll have the break tag. And now we need the content div. And the title. And the progress bar. And the progress label. Put 
it a little bigger. And then we need the upload button and the cancel button. And another break. So there's our second break. So there's our upload button and the cancel button. And we're also going to need a close button, which isn't shown on the picture. So that should be all of our HTML. Now let's go ahead and create a status method. And we're going to lay these things out. And when we're done, We're going to pass the whole block back to the progress dialog to add to the status pane. So building this from the bottom up, let's build the image first. So the image div needs to append image, the image break. And the content div needs to append the title and the progress bar and upload and cancel and close. And only either the upload and cancel button will be visible and this will be hidden, or these will both be hidden and this will be shown. And then our Upload div is going to append the image div followed by content div. See if that's everything. Oh, and we also have to add the progress label to our progress bar. And let's see if we've got everything. It looks OK so far. So let's go ahead and implement our progress dialog add status method. I'll go ahead and put it here. And for now, all it's going to do is append the status block to this upload status. So let's, we have the upload status here. And now we actually need to create a new file upload UI to show the file. So in the drop handler here, let's go ahead and say uh, upload handler progress dialog. And that should be enough to actually show something. 
We don't have any labels or images yet, but let's go ahead and see what we have. Oh, so that should be uh, this dot add status is equal to function status. Okay, and then now let's drag some stuff in. And then file upload handler, we need to include that. Actually, file upload UI. And that should be file upload UI. And this should be file upload UI. Okay. So then in progress dialog, make sure upload status is being shown. Let's go ahead and look at elements. So here's our upload dialog. There's upload status. Oh, so we need to call the method here too. This dot add status. So in our drop handler, after we've created the file upload UI, UI dot add status. Okay, so we got some stuff. Let's go ahead and set the title. So what I'm going to do is just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to move this into a file handler in a minute. But uh, after I've added the status, I'm going to say UI set title to something. And then I need to implement a set title method here. And then when I get a title, I'm going to call title.append value. So then for the title, Let's use name colon plus file dot name plus break plus and then type use type. And then size is size. Oh, that should be file dot type, not type dot name. And this should be file.size. There. So now we also need to turn on the progress bar. So the last thing we'll do here is pb.progressbar. And we'll give it initial value 
of zero. And then let's also do these buttons. So upload dot button and cancel dot button and close dot button. So there are all our jQuery UI things. Great. So now we have a progress bar, and these are buttons now. We don't do anything. We need to do the image. And then the rest of the content for this is actually going to come from the file handler.